Let's all stand, church. Give Him praise. Talakpakan naman po natin si Lord. Let's give our full best to Him. Let's give our 100%.
above every other name. His name is Jesus. Hope has a name. Hallelujah. Come on, proclaim Jesus. Ah, hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah, Jesus. You're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy. today, Lord. Fill our hearts today, Lord. Fill our spirits today, Lord. Ah, yes, Lord. Ah, fill our hearts with faith, Lord. Hallelujah. Woo! Ah, yes. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Ah, yes. It's always a joy, Lord. It's always an honor, Lord, to enter into your presence with thanksgiving in our hearts. You deserve all the honor. You deserve all the praise, Lord, for you are worthy. You are worthy. Every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of Father. Come on, church. Let's give him another round of applause. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Lord, bless your people today. Bless your servant today. And bless your word today. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. And all God's people say aloud, loud. Amen. Come on, you mga nandito. Sumigaw naman kayo ng malakas. Amen. Hallelujah. Woo. Thank you, Jesus. Victorious Sunday, church. Come on. Hallelujah. Woo. Would you please tell your neighbor right now, welcome back to our on-site celebration. Come on, tell you. Those who are here right now, hallelujah. Welcome home to our first-time guest. You are welcome in this place. And welcome to our church online. And everybody said, Amen. Pwede ba natin mga, pwede ba natin palapakan yung mga church onlineers natin? Kayo mga nandito, come on. To our church onlineers, high five your neighbor and say sa kanila yung mga church onlineers. Sabi mo lang sa katabi mo, welcome team bahay. Hallelujah. Praise God. Whew. Hallelujah to those. Hallelujah. We are blessed today. Can I hear a loud, loud Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. God. Whew. Please be seated and let's get ready for the word. Are you ready for the word? Nag-almusan na ba yung mga nandito? Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Are you ready for the word? Praise God. Para naman ganahan si Pastor Anthony sa kanyang pag-preach. Kailangan, kaya, uh, kailangan yung mga taga nandito, taga on-site celebration, dapat ganado rin kayo. Ganado ba kayo? Hallelujah. Kahit may face mask kayo, kahit may uh, face shield kayo, iparamdam nyo sa amin at sa mga online people na buhay na buhay kayo. Magsabi nga kayo ng malakas na, Jesus! Come on! Thank you! Hallelujah! Whew. Hallelujah! Come on! Come on! Hallelujah! Whew. Hallelujah! You are one of the few who are blessed to be here today. That's why you have to make the most out of it. Hallelujah! Maybe for some of you, the first time you step on this building after so many months, you know, it was quite emotional just like the rest of us. But praise God, you are here today. And all God's people say, Amen. Wow, praise God. Advance Happy New Year to everybody. Come on, pakisabi naman sa katabi mo. Advance Happy New Year. Come on. Today, by the way, today is the last Sunday of the year. Everybody say, wow, wow, wow. Come on. Say three times. Come on. Wow, wow, wow. Hallelujah. Kung meron grace, grace, grace. Wow, wow, wow naman tayo ngayon. What a roller coaster ride 2020 has become. You know, I hate roller coaster. Hindi mo ako mapapasakay ng roller coaster. But 2020... It's an up and, up and down roller coaster ride. And all those who agree say, Amen. 
Hallelujah. But one thing is true. In Christ, we are victorious. Pastor Jerry, mas sumigaw ka pa dyan para naman mahawaan mo ng mga... Oh, yes. Praise God. Woo! Amen. Hallelujah. Ikaw na mag-praise dito. Hallelujah. Praise God. Talagang yung energy ni Pastor Jerry, no? Talagang hallelujah. Come on, shout to your neighbor. Sabihin mo sa kanya. Sigawan mo siya, sabihin mo sa kanya. Hello, victorious. Come on. Woo! Last Sunday of this year. Come on, hallelujah. And we are victorious in Christ. And everybody said the loud amen again to that. Hallelujah. All right. Isang teenage girl ang lumapit sa kanyang daddy at tinanong siya. Sabi ng teenage girl na to, sabi niya, Daddy, ano yung New Year's resolution mo? Ang sabi ni Daddy, my New Year's resolution is to make your mommy as happy as I can the whole year. Sabi ng girl, Really? Wow! Are you serious, Daddy? Buong year, you will make mommy happy? Sabi nung girl sa mami niya, binalingan niya yung mama. Mami, ikaw, ano naman ang New Year's resolution mo? Ito ang sagot ni mami. My New Year's resolution is to see that your daddy keeps his New Year resolution. Can everybody say amen to that? Pwede ba natin palakpakan naman si Lord John? Hallelujah! Whew. To all the daddies in the house, Okay, kahit sa church online, pwede pakitaas yung kamay ng mga daddy na nandito. Come on, yung mga daddy, come on, yung mga, yung mga husband, come on, yes, yes, hallelujah. To all the daddies in the house, how many of you here wants to take that challenge? Pastor Jerry, Pastor Ru, hallelujah. Gusto nyo bang gawing New Year resolution yan, Pastor Jerry? Ba? Are you serious? Narinig ni Ma'am Leah yan. <laughs> Hallelujah. Kasi si Pastor William at si Pastor Ru, hindi siya silumagot ng yes. And mind you, Pastor Jerry, kung ako ang tatanungin mo, hindi ko rin sasagutin yan. Hallelujah. I will not make it my New Year's resolution. Dahil lagot ako kay Labsy. Okay? Church, narinig niyo po yan. Si Pastor Jerry, araw-araw, dapat masasayahin niya si Ma'am Leah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Kailangan mo ng grace, grace, grace. Hallelujah. Woo! Grace, grace, grace. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo! Ay, yung mga, ilang mga daddy dito, kaya nyo? Ako po, hindi ko kaya yun. Hallelujah. Okay, are you ready for the word today? Okay, let's get serious a little bit right now. Let me start off with these words. Are you ready? Kung excited kayo, These are serious words, by the way. Maybe you can show that on the screen as well. If your memories of the past is bigger than the vision of the future, you will eventually dry up. Let me repeat that. If your memories of the past is bigger than your vision of the future, you will eventually dry up. Kung ang memory data mo ay mas malaki kaysa sa vision mo of the future, eventually manghihina ka. It will drain you of the strength you need in the present and in the coming days ahead. Are you following church? Are you following, church? Let me repeat that. If your memories of the past is bigger than your vision of the future, you will eventually dry up. Madidrain ka. In the present and in the coming days ahead. You see, ito po yan. Pakinggan natin. Ito naman yung good news dito. God is more interested in your future than He is your past. And everybody said, Amen to that. Yan naman ang good news dito. Hallelujah. Come on, mas malakas sa palakpak naman dyan. Si Lord, pagdating sa Kanya, mas interesado siya sa future mo kaysa sa nakaraan mo. Did you hear that, church? 
That is why today, I want to speak to you on the message entitled, Press On. Parang yung palakpak nyo, dapat mas ma. Come on, shout to your neighbor right now. Come on, sabi mo, press on. Hallelujah. Ano ibig sabihin niyan? Ibig sabihin niyan, keep going. Keep running. Don't stop now. Did you hear that? Keep going. Keep running. Don't stop now. Press on. And everybody shout amen to that. Hallelujah. Whew. When I say press on, ito ang gusto ko pong maintindihan natin. The image or the picture I want us to see. You know, I want you to use your imagination right now. Lagyan natin ng image. Lagyan natin ng imagination yung word na press on. The image that I want us to see in our mind is of a runner in a marathon race or in a track and field race. That's the image of press on. And everybody said, Amen. Can you see that on the screen right now? Press on. Paul passionately challenged us in Philippians chapter 3, verses 12 to 14. He said these words, challenging words at that. Sabi niya, not that I have already obtained all this, sabi niya, or have already arrived at my goal. He said, but I, what's the word? Come on, say that word. What's the word? But I press on to take hold of that for which Christ took hold of me. Next line, it says there, Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself to have taken hold of it. But one thing I do. Everybody say one thing. Come on. Come on, shout it out. Everybody say one thing. One thing I do. Forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead. Next line, it says there, I press on. Everybody say, I press on. Toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. What is Paul's challenge to us? In fact, uh, it is not just Paul challenging us. He is actually challenging himself with this passage. Tina challenge tina yung kanyang sarili. He said, this one thing I do. Paul is a single-minded person. He is not double-minded. Alam nyo, sabi sa Bible, sa book of James, yung taong double-minded, hindi hindi tatanggap kay Lord. Kayo po ba nandyan pa? Hallelujah. Paul is a single-minded person. He said, ito, ito yung sabi niya, this one thing I do. Anong sabi niya? Forgetting what is behind me. Forgetting, come on, come on. Forgetting what is behind me. This one thing I do. Paul said, I press on. The Greek verb, for that word is joko, nang ibig sabihin to chase, to run after, to pursue. In other words, Paul was saying, ito ang hinahabol ko, ito ang hinahanap ko. I press on. You see, ito yung, kaya nga, I would like you to continuously see the image of a runner. Paul said, Forgetting what is behind. Paul was saying, a runner in a race doesn't keep looking back at who is behind him or else he will fall on his face. He will trip or even fall on his face. Na, yung, mga, yung mga magagaling na runner, you don't see them, you know, on, on a track and field. You don't see them running, looking at the people behind them. Kasi kapag tumingin sila, dahil sa sobrang bilis sila, pag tumingin sila doon sa tao na nasa likod nila, baka madapa sila at sumubsub pa. Sa lupa. You don't see a great runner look behind. He looks ahead. Kayo po ba yung pa? How many people do you know who are living their lives backwards? Yung buhay nila pabalik. 
They count their losses. They count their regrets. They count their failures. Yung taong nabubuhay pabalik, binibilang niya. Yung nawala, binibilang niya. Yung nasayang, binibilang niya lahat ng pagkakamali. That's not the life that God wants you to live. Can I hear an amen? Can I hear an amen? That's why Paul said, this one thing I do, forgetting what is behind. People who live backwards, they dwell too long on their painful experiences. You see, gusto ko lang pong liwanagin ito, no? We don't deny the pain that we all went through this whole year, 2020. Hindi natin deny yan. Sabi nga, it's okay not to be okay. Can I hear an amen to that? No? It's okay not to be okay. Tell your neighbor right now. Sabi mo lang sa kanya para naman may. It's okay not to be okay. Come on. Amen? It's okay not to be okay. Kaya lang, eto po yan. Kayo po ba'y nandyan pa? We should not dwell too long in our painful past. It's okay not to be okay. Pero kapag masyado ka nang matagal dyan, hindi na okay yan. Kayo po ba'y nandyan pa? Amen! It will drain you of your strength today and the days ahead. Forgetting what is behind. This one thing I do, sabi ni Paul, forgetting what is, I don't run looking behind me. Ayoko madapa, ayoko masubsob. Ayoko magbilang ng mga sayang. Ayoko magbilang ng mga nawala. Forgetting what is behind. Can I hear praise? Pwede bang isigaw natin, thank God? Pwede bang isigaw natin, thank God? Come on, hallelujah. Okay, eto yan. Bakit? Bakit ko pinasigaw yan? Thank God we have a forgiving Savior. Did you hear that? Thank God na kahit ilan ang pagkakamali mo, kahit ilan ang pagkukulang mo, kaya kang patawarin ng ating takapagligtas. And His name is Jesus Christ. Come on, palakpakan mo si Lord John. Hope has a name. His name is Jesus. Thank God we have a forgiving Savior. Forgiving us for our failures and mistakes. And maybe for some of you here right now, what I'm about to say is something very personal. I just feel it in my spirit that this is, these words are for you. What are these words? In Christ, we can find the grace to forgive even the deepest hurts. And everybody said amen. Kayo po dito na dumaan ng malalim na pain, hurts, in Christ, He will give you the grace to forgive even the deepest hurts in your life. I believe God wants to set you free today. Pumalakpak ka dyan kung ikaw ay nag-a-agree. Come on, give God praise. Amen! Forgetting what is behind. Forgetting is a Greek word. Ito yung Greek verb ng forgetting. Ibig sabihin niyan, pakibasa nga natin. Come on. Ang hirap eh, no? no? Hallelujah. Uh, by the way, uh, kami po mga pastor, uh, marahil kayo ay nagtataka ko minsan bakit uh, bumabalik kami sa mga Greek words. You have to understand that the New Testament was written in a Greek language in the, in the times of Jesus. The Old Testament was hit, written in Hebrew, the New Testament in Greek. Can I hear an amen? So sometimes we go back to the Greek word para mas ma-appreciate natin ang lalim ng kahulugan ng pinupunto natin. So, sabi ni Paul, yung word na forgetting doon sa sinabi ni Paul, ang Greek verb niya is, pakibasa nga. Oh, 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 pilano ring 
o pilano ritano sa ano niya epilan tanomai epilan tanomai ano ibig sabihin niyan it means that not to have remembrance of something did you hear that I think you miss a place where you need to clap your hands a little bit hallelujah Epilanthanomai means not to have remembrance of something. Now, let me just clarify this to all of us here. No? I don't think this means that our mind is wiped clean of any remembrance of our past hurts and pains and failures. Sa memory back natin, nandyan pa yan. I believe that Paul is saying, parang hindi mabura sa memory bank yan. Pero ang sinasabi ni Paul, ang ibig sabihin ng forgetting is, sabi ni Paul, but we choose not to get there any longer. Anong ibig sabihin yan? Forgetting is a matter of choice. Come on, give God praise to that. Hallelujah. To forget is to choose not to get there any longer to choose not to remember. Everybody say, I choose not to remember. Come on, say that. Hallelujah. Come on. I choose not to remember. We choose to look forward. Press on. Forgetting what lies behind Choosing not to go there anymore. We choose not to remember. And we choose to look forward. Because we cannot run the race looking backwards. Hindi ka pwedeng tumakbo sa buhay na laging nakatingin sa likod mo. We must set our minds and hearts on the ultimate goal. What's the ultimate goal? We must set our minds and our hearts not on the temporary, but on the eternal. And everybody said, Amen. Pwede marating palakpakan si Lord Listen, ang good news dito, ang lahat ng mga pinagdadaanan natin, lahat yan, temporary. Can I hear an amen? That's why we set our hearts on things eternal. Yung hindi nalulugi, yung hindi nananakaw. Treasure is in heaven. This one thing I do. Single-minded. Parang si Pastor Jaja. Hanggang ngayon, single pa rin. Nang nakakakilala kay Pastor Jaja, magsabi ng Amen. Kaya siya single-minded pa rin. Hallelujah. Whew. Wala sa konteksto yan. Hallelujah. Okay. Uh, sabi ni Paul, this one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind, straining. I love that word. Napakalalim. Straining towards what is ahead. Sabi ni Paul, forget, forgetting what, what lies behind and straining towards what is ahead. This is the idea or an image of a runner leaning forward as he runs. Ang image po dito ng straining towards what is ahead is the image of a runner leaning forward as he runs. The Greek verb of straining comes from the word ito na naman. Hallelujah. Parang siomay po ito. Eh, no? Hallelujah. Epektein nomay. Hallelujah. Kayo po ba yung nandyan pa? Hallelujah. 
Are you with me right now? Thank you, sir. Epektenomai. Anong ibig sabihin niyan? To exert oneself to the uttermost. Huh? To exert one's self to the uttermost. In other words, yung ibibigay mo, yung pinakamabuti mo to the max. Do you hear that? No, you tell ibibigay mo yung pinakamatindi mong effort to the max. Everybody say to the max. Yan ang ibig sabihin ng straining towards what is ahead. It means to stretch out forge ahead, straining towards the finish line. Come on, shout it out. Hallelujah. Everybody say amen to that. Hallelujah. Ito po yan. Again, use your imagination. No? Uh, yung pinakasikat na, uh, na talagang, sabi nila, halos siya yung pinakamabilis na talagang uh, sprinter. Sino ba yan, Pastor Ruh? Ha? Si Usain Bolt. Super bilis siya. Nag-retire na nga lang siya. Pero pinasikat niya sa Olympics ang track and field. Like Usain Bolt. If you watch the sprint in the track and field race, you can see as the leading runner reaches the goal line or the finish line, they will lean their body forward. Gusto nyo makita? Gusto nyo i-demo ko yan? Gusto nyo ng sample, sample, sample? No? Yung, kayo na nakakita ng, Pastor, gusto mo na sample? So, Jer, gusto mo na sample? Yung, kung ako yung si Usain Bolt, no? yung talagang, at malapit na ako sa finish line, eto yan, yung, yung ginagawa nila is ganito yan, yung talagang, parang wala lang, hallelujah, parang, binigay ko pa naman yung pinaka-effort ko, tapos, Kaya wala lang, hallelujah. Gusto niyo ulitin ko para naman na... <laughs> Yung tala... Diba? Stretching out. Listen. Most of the time, it is that extension of the body to its that wins the race. Ang dami nating nakita. Dapat yung nanalo yung nandito. Pero dahil yung isa, ginano niya yung siya yung nanalo. Straining towards. You know what Paul is thinking about here? Kaya nakikita niya image, yung runner. Sabi ni Paul, ganun din ako. Paul is talking about all out. Everybody say all out. All out commitment to see this through the end. No dropping off, no excuses, no laziness. Can I hear an amen? Can I hear a loud, loud amen? Hallelujah. Whew. You see, Kahit cliche na po ito, sasabihin ko pa rin, it's not how you start the race, it's, you ha- it's how you finish the race. May mga tao na ang galing magsimula, pero along the way, nag-drop off. Hindi, ganyan ang pagdakbo, pagdakbo. Can I hear an amen? Finish the race. Don't drop off. Don't make excuses. Huwag mong bilangin yung mga sayang, huwag mong bilangin yung mga pagkukulang mo. Ang Diyos natin mapagpatawad. He's more interested with your future rather than your past. Did you get that, church? Hallelujah. Paul is serious about this. He's stretched all out to win the race. May good news po ako sa inyo. Kayo po ba nandyan pa? Come on, how many are ready to hear some good news here? Come on, hallelujah. Ito yan, pakinggan nyo po ito. Did you know that in the kingdom of God, even if you are the last runner, it doesn't matter. 
just finish the race. That is what matters. <laughs> Amen. In the kingdom of God, it doesn't matter if you are the last runner. God is saying to you, just finish the race. That's what it matters. Come on, tell your neighbor right now, finish the race. Come on, hallelujah. Whew. Paul was very well aware that we cannot keep punishing ourselves for past mistakes and failures. Ang sinasabi ni Paul, huwag mong parusahan ang sarili mo sa mga nakaraan mong pagkukulang at pagkakamali. You cannot afford to do that. Or maybe for some of us, you cannot afford to keep patting yourself on the back for our past success and spiritual victories. Yung iba naman, masyado namang nagbilib sa mga tagumpay, success siya sa buhay, at ayaw, niya mag, ayaw na rin. Gusto ko ito na lang, sabi niya. Nalasing sa success. They take our eyes off the finish line. Stop punishing yourselves, sabi ni Paul. Alam niyo po kaya sinabi ni Paul to? Meron din siyang hindi magandang nakaraan eh. He was the persecutor of the church. He persecuted Jesus and his church. He was the one instrumental in the death of Stephen, the first martyr in the Bible. That's why he said that by the grace of God, I can move forward. Praise God. We have a forgiving God. Palapakan mo si Lord Jan. Come on, church. Amen. Stop punishing yourself from your past mistakes and failings. What is Paul's challenge to us when he says press on? Now, I spent some time just trying to make us understand ano yung image ng press on. Keep going. Don't stop now. Keep running. Forgetting what is behind and straining towards what is ahead. Now, ang tanong naman ngayon eh, ano yung dapat tayong mag-press on? What are we to press on? Anong pinupunto ni Paul? Keep running. Don't stop now. What are we to press on? You know what Paul is saying to us? Ito yan. Go for the goal. Embrace the process and be energized with power. And everybody shout a loud, loud amen to that. Hallelujah. You press on by going for the goal. You embrace the process and be energized with power. Question, what is the goal of pressing on. The goal is the pursuit is Christ. And everybody said amen to that. Alam yung sinasabi ni Paul, yung goal, yung hinahanap ko, yung hinahabol ko, is Jesus. I seek first His kingdom and all these things will be added unto me. Ang inuuna ko, ang hinahanap ko, ang hinahabol ko, si Jesus lang. That's my goal. I press on. Come on, palakpakan mo si Lord John. Hallelujah. What is the goal? The pursuit is Christ. What is the process? The process is maturity. Grow up. Everybody say grow up. Hallelujah. The goal is Jesus. The process is maturity. And what is the power? The power is is the Holy Spirit. Without the Holy Spirit, we cannot make it. That's why Jesus sent the Holy Spirit to give us dunamis. In the Greek word, ang ibig sabihin, power and energy to move on, to move forward, to keep going, to keep running. 
And everybody said, Amen to that. Come on, palapakan mo si Lord John. Woo! Sino po rito yung uh, kinakausap ni Lord? Come on, you, is God speaking to you right now? Kinakausap ka ba ni Lord? Marahil yung ilan sa inyo dito. I don't know, maybe sa, uh, meron lang dito na medyo gusto mo na mag up, pero sinabi mo, sige, uh, mag attend muna ako ng you know, church online or you know, I'm gonna come to church. But now God is speaking to you and He's telling you, anak, don't give up. Press on. Keep running. Keep going. Don't stop now. Press on. To know Christ in all His fullness. Press on to maturity. Press on in the power of the Holy Spirit. Paul talks about letting go of his spiritual pride. Of his spiritual pedigree. To the pursuit of the surprise. Passing worth. Ito na naman yung worthy. No? Sabi ni Paul, lahat ng mga accomplishment ko, lahat yan, walang kwenta. Ang pinakamahalaga ay si Kristo lang. Siya ang aking hanapin, siya ang aking habulin. To know, you know, the surpassing worth of knowing Jesus in His fullness. You know, one of my life verse when I was a young Christian is this verse, Philippians 3.10 that says that I may know Him. That I may passionately know Him and the power of His resurrection. Hallelujah. And the fellowship of His sufferings being made even conformed to His death. That I may know Him. That is the passion of Paul. His whole life, yun lang ang passion niya. My goal is Christ. Nothing more, nothing less, nothing else. For Paul, Christ became his solitary pursuit. Siya lang, wala nang iba. Relentless determination. That is his passionate goal. And he will not stop pursuing God. Press on. The Greek word means joko. Ang ibig sabihin ay pursuing, chasing, running all out. You see, Paul doesn't run for the sake of running. Yung mga iba kasi tumatakbo, wala lang eh. No? Si Paul, tumatakbo siya ng may purpose. Si Paul, tumatakbo siya ng may goal. Kayo po ba'y nandyan pa? Siguraduhin mo pag yung takbo mo sa buhay, may patutunguhan, may finish line, may goal. And that person is Jesus Christ. Come on, palakpakan mo si Lord John. Paul doesn't run for the sake of running. He is intent on the goal line. The athlete fixing his gaze on the goal. Hebrews puts it this way. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Come on. Come on, church. Hallelujah. Come on. Press on to maturity. Philippians 3, 12 to 14, the Passion Translation puts it this way. Sabi niya, I admit that I haven't yet acquired the absolute fullness that I am pursuing, sabi ni Paul, but I run with passion into His abundance. Wow, I love those words. So that I may reach the purpose that Jesus Christ has called me to fulfill and wants me to discover. Wow, powerful words. I don't depend on my own strength to accomplish this. However, I do have one Compelling focus. I forget all of the past as I fasten my heart to the future instead. And we say, Amen. Pakiya ang karis mo yung katabi mo sa mga sonya. God is interested with your future. Come on, come on, hallelujah. Come on, pakisigay mo. Ooh. Yung nakaraan mo, pinatawad na niya. 
Can I hear an amen? Sabi niya, I run straight for the divine invitation of reaching the heavenly goal and gaining the what? The victory prize through the anointing of Jesus. Hallelujah. You know, it's been a while since we saw each other. Uh, what if you bumped into a brother or sister paglabas mo dyan mamaya and say hi and oh, kumusta na? What will you say? Oh, you know, pag tinanong ka nung kapatid mo, you know, sabi niya, how are you these days? Anong sagot mo? Ito. Tumanda na sa problema at stress. Hello? Pumuti na lahat ng buho ko dahil sa quarantine. Yan ba yung sagot mo? Listen, church. Don't just grow old. Grow up. Amen. Huwag ka lang tumanda. God's desire for you is to grow up. Press on to maturity. You know what God is saying to you and me? Not grow up. Don't just grow old. Grow up. Grow in grace. Can I hear an amen to that? Grow in faith. Grow in love. Wow. Grow. You know, the irony of this is the one who wrote these verses is the Apostle Paul. Ang ironic dito is, did you know that Paul wrote this book of Philippians in a prison cell because of preaching the gospel. Yung sinabi ni Paul na press on, alam nyo ba, sinulat niya ito, he was in prison. Ang ibig sabihin, nakaka-relate si Paul sa atin. Hallelujah. Can I hear an amen? Ha? Parang sinasabi niya, oh, oh, guys, ako rin na quarantine. Ako rin naranasan ko ang lockdown. Paul's imprisonment, Paul's quarantine is part of God's maturing process. Kaya, nakulong si Paul, na quarantine si Paul. Sabi ni Lord, Paul, kasama yan sa proseso. Grow up. Let, it, let me put it in these words. Maybe you can show that on the screen. Sometimes God puts us in places where we are hindered, hampered, and limited. Sino nakaka-relate dyan? No? Sino po? Lahat tayo nakaka-relate dyan. Yung nilalagay ka ni Lord sa isang lugar na hindered, hampered, and limited. Why? Why, you ask? Because at these places in our lives, we find ourselves desperate enough to seek God. Pag nilalagay tayo sa ganong lugar ni Lord, we find ourselves desperate enough to seek God and willing to change. Everybody say, willing to change. Kung isang sa sobrang busy natin, napakahirap magbago, pero kapag may lockdown, sabi ni Lord, seek me. I will change you. Willing to change for us to grow up. Your circumstance is an opportunity God has selected to continue His deeper work in you. You are, come on, a great work in progress. Can I hear a name? And you are God's 
workmanship. You know, the other translation puts it this way. You are God's poetry. A work in progress. A great work in progress. Just like what the song we were singing a while ago. Be done. Then if you are not done working, God, I am not done waiting. And everybody said, Amen. Palakpakan mo nga si Lord ng matindi dyan. Hallelujah. Irony of irony again. Ito pa, no? Alam niyo po, si Paul is such a man of character. Ibang level po si Paul. Did you know that Paul was a very hyperactive person? Active po yan. No? Talagang, you know, pag labas pa lang sa, sa tiyan ng nanay niya, talagang, talagang gusto na. Hyperactive po yan. No? Could you please look at your neighbor? Mukha bang hyper yan? Kamo, hyper ba yan? No? Yung hyperactive, no? talagang uh, highly driven. Si Paul, ang, pwede kong, ang tawag ko sa kanya, he is a super go, go, go type of guy. Yung go, go, go. Kung meron tayong grace, 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 siya naman, go, go, go type of guy. Paul, sabi ni Lord sa kanya, oh, naalala ko na naman yung corny joke ko. Yung paalala ko yung corny joke ko. Yung, yung, Paul na naman tayo. Use Paul in a sentence four times. Alam nyo yun, yung mga kapampangan dito. Paul, be careful. You might Paul in the swimming pool. Tawa naman kayo dyan. Hallelujah. Kahit corny yung joke. Magu na makayo na makayo dyan. Hallelujah. Siya doon serious. Hallelujah. No? Whew. Hallelujah. Si Paul, no? Go, go, go type of guy. But he was put in prison. He was quarantined for a season. For a season. But it was in that quarantine place and season of his life where it became clear to him clarity. Nung nandun siya sa prison at nandun sa season na yun, lumiwanag ng gusto sa kanya. Ano yung naging malinaw sa kanya? It is these words. The ultimate goal in life is Christ. The process is to grow up maturity. And what keeps him going is the power of the Holy Spirit. Pwede ba nating palakpakan si Lord? Yun ang naging malinaw na ako po'y umaasa maging malinaw din po sa atin. The ultimate goal in life is to know Jesus. And the process is maturity. Philippians 2.13 says, For it is God who works in you both to will and to do for His good pleasure. And everybody said, Would you stand with me right now? Hallelujah. Pwede ba nating palakpakan ng matindi naman si Lord John? Hallelujah. Sino po rito yung na-energize? Hallelujah. Sino, to, sino rito yung naramdaman nyo? Parang napagpag ang lahat ng mga mabibigat sa iyong katawan at sa iyong spirito. Come on, palakpakan mo si Lord John. Everybody shout, press on! Si Paul doesn't want a status quo faith. Ayun yun ang faith na status ko lang. You know, his is an active faith. He wants to know Christ in all his being, straining all out for the price of knowing Christ, of being in Christ in all his living, of the up, upward call of God in Christ Jesus. In other words, the goal and the price is all wrapped up in Jesus Christ. And everybody said a loud, loud amen to that. Si Jesus ang goal at si Jesus din ang price. Saan ka pa? Hallelujah. Siya yung goal, siya pa yung price. It's all wrapped up in Christ Jesus. Press on. Everybody say, press on. Come on, shout to your neighbor. Sabi po sa kanya, press on. Lift up your head for the one who is your goal. Believe it or not, is coming sooner than you think. I tell you, with all the things that's happening around the world right now, 
Pakinggan niyo ulit to. Press on, lift up your head for the one who is your goal, Jesus Christ, is coming sooner than we think. Come on, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Press on to know Christ. Press on to maturity. Press on in the power of the Holy Spirit. Press on. Keep going. Keep running. Don't stop now. Hallelujah. Lift your hands right now. Oh, Jesus. Woo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I can, I can sense the Spirit of God working in you right now. Come on. Those who you are at home right now, tumayo kayo dyan. Hallelujah. Come on. Lift your hands up high. Hallelujah. At ayahan mo na ipagpagkan ang balang na Spirito. Hallelujah. Pagpagin ang lahat ng mga pabigat. Hallelujah. Like the wind. Sabi nga nung kanta kanila, catch the wind. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, bahashika rabakanda rabahanda raba. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Lord, sa oras mo ito, right now, fill us with the power of the Holy Spirit right now. Lord, refresh our vision. Hallelujah. In the name, renew our spirit. Hallelujah. Renew our hearts. Come on, pray that prayer right now. Renew my spirit, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Restore my joy, Lord. In Jesus' name. Lord, I release fresh power. Come on, receive that right now. Leave your hands. Fresh power. Fresh anointing. Oh, yes. Fresh joy. Fresh strength be released to you. In Jesus' name. Bahashya karaba. Lahat ng mga nangihina, physically, Lord. Sa oras na ito, pagalingin niyo po sila. Ibangon niyo po sila. Itayo niyo po sila. Let the miracle of healing flow in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Come on, give God praise, church. Hallelujah. Come on. Are you ready to, are you ready to sing a prophetic song? Hallelujah. Are you ready to prophesy to your future? Come on, let's declare this right now. Woo!
are bowed, all eyes are closed. Jesus is your only hope. He said, I'm the light of the world. He said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. He said, I'm the way to the Father. Would you give your life to Jesus today? Would you surrender your life fully to Jesus? This is now. Not later, but today. Would you pray this prayer with me today? For those of you who join us for the first time, hallelujah. We invite you to pray this salvation prayer. Pray this prayer with us. Say, Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus, today, today I come to you. I come to you. I realize I, realize I, am, a sinner, I am a sinner. But you're my only hope. Jesus, Jesus, I repent of all my sin. Of all my sins. Forgive me, forgive me, cleanse me, cleanse me change, me, change me, and set me free. Set me free. I, open my heart, I open my heart, and I confess, I confess in, my mouth, in my mouth that you came, you, came, you died for me, you, for me, you rose, from the dead, rose from the dead to give me life, give eternal. Me life eternal. That is why today, is why today by, faith, by faith and by your grace, by your grace I, receive I receive the gift. Forgiven, forgiven, accepted, accepted. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. From this day forward, this day forward, I will love you. I will love you. I will honor you. I will honor you. And I will follow you. I will follow you. In your name, I pray. And all God's people say, Amen and Amen and Amen. Can we give the Lord a big, big hand of praise? Come on, church! Hallelujah! Woo! If you just pray that prayer for the first time with all your heart. By faith and by His grace, you know what the Bible says? If anyone is in Christ, he is now a new person. The old life is gone and the new life has begun. Welcome to your new life in Jesus Christ. Church, pwede man natin silang palakpakan naman yan. Oh, hallelujah. As many as believe Him and receive Him, to them gave He the privilege and the honor to become a child of God today with confidence we say you are a child of God welcome to your spiritual family welcome to his life family come on let's give God another big big hand of praise for that church hallelujah Woo. praise God sino po rito yung talagang napuspos napuspos po ba kayo Sino po rito yung lumakas? Sino po rito yung... Mm, hallelujah. Sino po rito yung handang lumaban sa buhay? Hallelujah. Sino po rito yung tumapang sa buhay? Can I hear a loud, loud amen? Ooh, hallelujah. Not by might nor by power, but by the Spirit of God. Paul said, this one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining towards what lies ahead. My goal is Jesus. I go through the process. And I want to grow up. And everybody said, Amen. And I have the Holy Spirit with me. Hallelujah. What a Sunday. Hallelujah. Praise God. Come on, church. Let's give them another big, big hand of praise. Hallelujah. Wow. Everybody say, What a Sunday. Hallelujah. See you on our New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve celebration, Thursday, hallelujah, 8 p.m., hallelujah, it's a date. Everybody said amen, hallelujah. Are you ready to be blessed, church, hallelujah? Okay, lift your hands up high. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord makes His face shine upon you. The Lord bless you with supernatural strength. The Lord bless you with supernatural favor. The Lord bless you with a great breakthrough these coming days. The Lord bless you with answered prayers. The Lord bless your family. And the Lord 
bless you with supernatural protection in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And all God's people say, Amen and Amen. See you this Thursday. It's a date. Hallelujah. Church online. Hallelujah.